what we have here is an orb bot Harold orb bot uh, I've, I've got a review of this one on my YouTube already but if you notice the extruder is missing um, I have it in a part right now I needed a new thermistor it's the temperature sensor for the, the hot end so uh, there it is right there without the temperature sensor the temperature sensor went out in it it happens anyway some people are having problems with some filaments uh, in the QBD extruders which is what this particular uh, printer comes with um, there's a couple of different ways to fix it one is and if you can tell that's been drilled out to a almost four millimeter hole it has PTFE tubing in it and it insulates the filament from the heat in the shaft which tends to fix that problem for certain filaments um, the other way to fix it if you update your controller to the newest firmware and you tweak all your settings for your uh, filament in the printer software you can get it all running nicely too the guy that makes this printer as I've said in my reviews he fully supports them he did uh, notice that problem and he did take steps to fix it he got the software tweaked did the upgrades put it on his website at punchtechtec.com or .net <laughs> and uh, you can download it update all the software everything in one lick so now for the people that didn't get one from him and are still having problems and can't get it to work your next solution is to take that extruder apart once you do you'll have the stepper motor you'll have well that's the heat sink off of it you know the little blocks uh, the arm I do recommend printing an extra one of these because if that little arm that the bearing is on ever breaks you won't be able to print nothing until you get one <clears throat> so anyway you take it apart you before you do you print one of these blocks uh, this is the if you look it up on Thingiverse it's the J it's the Orbot J head conversion so I printed one I already got my screws in it as you can see there on the bottom and then you need a J head now you can get tons of these uh, the newest version is a J head uh, 5 which has 5 cooling fins cut into the side of it I found a company in the Netherlands it's 2engineers.com they make this one now it doesn't look as fancy as the the black one that you are the the off grayish brownish one you see but this is ceramic and what ceramic does for you for one it won't melt like the other one will if it gets too hot and secondly ceramic will dissipate the heat better they have it in a 1.75 and a 3 millimeter version this is the 1.75 millimeter version it comes with the actual J head the copper not aluminum like some of the clone ones you get from Hong Kong and China and places from eBay it comes with a 30 watt uh, heater cartridge and it comes with the thermistor and the PTF tubing now the heater cartridge has uh, roughly three foot of wire on it so it'll go straight no matter how you do it to your controller this you have to attach your own wires to but and I know some of you are thinking, well, that's an odd-looking thermistor. Well, what they did for their design, the place that holds the thermistor is right there. So what they did is they cut it in caddy corner, if you look, and it sits right against the extruder nozzle in there. So you got real accurate temperature on your nozzle. Great design. You can still use the other one, just stick it in there. You may have to ring the hole out just a hair to do it because the regular glass ones like the ones in this bag are just a little bit too big there are some that are a little smaller but anyway you simply assemble this you put it in the slot there and you press it in 
and then that's also part you print and you put it on there and you put your two bolts in it and it holds it in place and then of course I got the bolts in there but you know you, you put this on there like that and there you go you print head and actually well you got to figure it's going to come down about three millimeters further or four millimeters further but that's really close if you look I mean that's that actually gives you probably a couple of centimeters more printer or build space than it does on the original QUBD extruder but that's how it sits and then the fan that came on the original this 40 millimeter fan that come on the original extruder it will bolt right on to the front just like that and blow on this to help cool it uh, you probably won't even need it but I'm going to do it anyway It'll create a downward draft also, which, you know, if you're doing PLA, it'll help cool it and keep it from webbing. It's a good idea. So, I'm getting ready to finish the conversion. I'm going to tweak my settings a little bit. The people that make this, it comes in three versions. Well, it comes in two primaries, a 1.75 and a 3 millimeter. But the nozzle comes in three versions, a 3 millimeter, a 4 millimeter, and a 5 millimeter. Or, I'm sorry, a point. Yeah, point oh three millimeter. They don't do the uh, three point five like some people do. They do the straight ones. I'm sure you could take a regular sugar nozzle, screw that one off, and then put it back on. That that just screws on and off. So, but this is where I'm at. When I get it done, I'll I'll get a video of it being or actually running, and I'll show you. Thank you. Bye.